Hello. Hello. You you hear me well? Yeah, it's good. Okay, okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. So first, before you get to introduce yourself, I'm just going to have a little introduction for like for the competition. Uh, so we are here to talk about Stavshon Invitational, which is one of the biggest under 90 kilo shows in the world. Uh, there will be 25 competitor, competitors from s seven different countries. It will be nine events and the price purse is uh, around 3000 American dollars. And it will also be a qual qualifier for the official strongman games, which is like the world's strongest man. So today I'm talking with one of the participants, Philip, will you help me with your surname, Philip? Side check. Side check. It means rabbit in English. Rabbit. So, so that means that uh, running speed events would be a good thing for you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Just uh, tell me a little bit. Like now, you uh, we got your name. Like, how old are you? Where are you from? So I'm from Czech Republic, and I am 17 years old. I think I am the youngest competitor, but I think there's one 17 years old guy too. But so I'm from Czech Republic and I'm 17 years old. Yeah, so so very young, but I I know of that you competed before, even though you're 17. Can you tell me a bit about like your lifting and strongman experience as a whole, like competition wise, and when did you start lifting? Yeah. I was 13 years old and when I first tried the lift I lifted 150 kilos and in what I first competed yeah. in powerlifting at my early 15 years old and I think I managed to pull like uh, 207 deadlift 150 squat and 110 bench or something about that and my first strongman competition was uh, we call it strongman rookie in Czech Republic. That's like amateur competition for beginners. And I, I, I competed at 15 years old and I finished sixth place in U90 kilos in, in a man category. Hmm. And, and my, my, my first big competition was Arnold from Classic Europe. It was in Sevilla. Uh, I was 16 years old there and I managed to do uh, I managed to place third and I'm so happy about this. Yeah, and that's where I first heard of heard of Philip. And I guess that's also why you got the invitation to stop showing from your So like you're 17 and as far as I know you've done like 300 kilo deadlifts already and you're yeah. pressing more than 100 30 kilo log right yes. yeah and i feel like i mean you have a have a couple of young strongmen like if you look back in the days you have like paul periol from i think romania which, which was very strong but usually when they're that young they're heavier like big big guys probably yeah. fat but you're young and you're small so like what would you say yourself is like how did you get so strong so fast? Would you say it's like genetics? Do you have a good coach? What do you think yourself? I I don't actually know, but I think I have some luck <laughs> and a little bit of genetics, a little bit of... Uh, because I, I don't have a coach. I, I write my, uh, the trainings for myself my, on my own. But I think I'm pretty technical uh, strongman. So I, I use split jerks. I try to be fast as I can and just uh, don't put on too much too much weight if I if I could uh, if I can do it without it if you if you know what I mean yeah yeah of course if right. I can be like 90 kilo lifter it's better for me uh, and for my health uh, than be 110 kilos yeah I think so as well especially when you're so young I, I think just putting on more weight would be like just increase your risk of getting having an injury both because yeah. like the recovery takes more time and you're not like your body isn't like used to carrying so much weight 
And then talking about weight, like uh, Stav Shion is an under 90 kilo show. And for example, in Sevilla, as you said, you were competing under 95 kilos. So what's your like normal body weight? What do you weigh right now? Now I have something about 94 kilos or 93 to 95. It depends how much I eat today, but something about 93 to 95 kilos. Yeah, so you will have to cut a bit weight, but just a little bit yeah. before. Yeah. So moving into the competition, looking at the like stuff shown specifically, what would you say is like, I mean, stuff shown has nine events, so like it's a big competition, but what would you say yourself? Like which event do you look forward to the most? I look forward to the whole competition, but I, I look forward to the Axel Press for Max. Yeah. Because that's just uh, the, the Max event. And then I like, as you said earlier, I love uh, running events. So the, the, the Oak Run, I think I will be in the top places mm -hmm. if everything will be good. And then, then I'm curious about the last man standing, Sandbag. Yeah, that's interesting, man. Okay, so specifically the Axel and also Joe. So if we turn it around and then talk about least looking forward to, what would you say would maybe your weakest of the nine events? I, I, I don't actually know because uh, in, in the competition, there are, aren't any events that I don't like. You know, I, I don't like track pool. Yeah. Or, or bench press, yeah. <laughs> but these these kinds of events uh, suits me pretty pretty good. So, but I, but I'm afraid a little bit of the of the farmer's hold or, or or the fr frame hold. Frame hold, yeah. Not because, not not because is I think I would lose some points, but because it's it's it depends on your head. You know, if you have good will. You will score lots of points. Yeah, it's a tough uh, one, and 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 maybe also if you like if you do good in the previous event, which would be the Axel for Max, like yeah. then you will have some mark to beat, like and that will help yeah. you to like endure the pain. Yeah, I, and you know you you will have to uh, hold the pain and everything. Yeah, but I'm looking forward. Yeah, so what would you say? Like it's. Yeah, huge competition with nine events and as I mentioned, 25 competitors. I, I believe like some will f fall off the wagon wheel, like now I'm peaking, probably a couple will fall out. So if we say like 20 competitors, so what what's your own expectation to your own performance? Like, of course, you don't know all the athletes you're competing against, but like, what do you imagine yourself? You like... Do you want to try to reach the podium or will you be happy with top eight? Like, what's your own expectations? Uh, I think I will be very happy if I, if I will reach the podium. I think I can get uh, to the top five and then it depends how it, how it goes. Yeah. Because there are, there are events like Bex over bar and for me, it's a little bit luck event. If you... If you do a little mistake, you can drop so many points. So, yeah. But I think uh, top five and maybe top three. So, how do you go like like, like uh, regarding your competitors? Do you look into them? Do you know anyone of the ones you're competing into? Do you like look them up on Instagram, or uh, you try to avoid? Uh, when when uh, some some of the competitors I know, I know. Uh, George Van Kastor, I follow him on Instagram and he's crazy because yeah. he's under 80 kilos and yeah. he has huge, huge PRs. And then uh, the guy from Iceland, I don't know how how is he uh, how is he called, but yeah, uh, he was yeah. sport in Arnold's UK. So I met him there. Mm. And and I, I know some of the athletes, but I, I'm, I'm not, not much stalker, so I, <laughs> I, will, I will try to be best and we'll see. Yeah. So for those who looked into the 
like the first video I made about Star Show, talking about the events. The last event, uh, the Sandbag Last Man Standing, is a yeah a diff- different kind of event, and I'm not going gonna going through like every details in it, but to make it short, it's like Last Man Standing Sandbag over Bar, where the lowest placed athletes start against the second lowest, and you actually have the possibility to climb up the ladder all the way up to first, but like then you'll have to be 20 persons. So yeah, it's not really, yeah, it won't won't really happen, but almost like the same as the uh, stone event in the heats in the world's strongest man, when you have like third against second. So that like the third, even, even though the third place is like 10 points behind second, he can still go into world's strongest man final. So like, after how you understand the event, what's your thoughts on the last event? Do you think it's like unfair that it plays such a huge role, or do you think it's interesting, or like what do you think about it? I don't think it is unfair at all because it's just another event, and every fun, every everyone has the same rules, so it isn't unfair, and it is it is really challenging because I can imagine after eight events, mm-hmm. uh, this one, and everyone wants to win, so. So the battle between the first and second and third place, I think it will be really, really devastating. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward. Yeah. So, I mean, the competition is being held in like the middle of nowhere in Norway. And I know like some competitors are going to stay on, on cabins. Some will probably live like in the cities, in the hotels. So where, you're st- where are you staying? I'm, I'm at Hogos because... I registered flight, but mm. I will stay at hotel. Hotel, okay. Um, so one of the events in the competition is the Circus Dumble, and I know that you competed in Circus Dumble in Sevilla. Oh yes. Uh, in Sevilla, you had seventy-five kilos for repetitions, and you did three reps, I believe, and. In this competition, it will be lighter. It will be 63 and a half. So what do you imagine? Like, how many reps would you, like, aim for in this competition? I think if I will be in good shape, I can do, like, eight reps, maybe more. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I picked my dumbbell pretty pretty much. So now, now I have 100 kg PR. So. Mm-hmm. And, and the lighter ones... Suits me really well because I can just pop, pop, pop one after each other, uh, after one and then another. Uh, but I think eight, but in the mountains, everything can happen. So, yeah, of course. Okay, so you you'll hope for about eight. What do you think is possible? Do you think like eight will be enough for the win, or do you think it's like possible for Josh to go at 10? Or like, what do you think? I think uh, so. So you have for ten, you you would have to do six seconds one rep. Yeah. I think ten is really, really amazing result. So I think eight ten will be the the best performance performance. Interesting. Yeah. And then again, I think that's second to last. So that's like event eight. So yeah, yeah it'll be also, interesting. So some some athletes will be like very fatiguing at this place but but then again like dumbbell press is a lot of leg strength and 60 kilos or 63 kilos isn't that heavy on the legs so i yeah. think it depends if like how how fatigued different athletes are so yeah we're almost through all my questions uh, i just want to end with like I know it, this is the third year this competition is held in Stavshjom, but it's the first time it's international competitors. So how how do you look at the competition like right now? What's your general thoughts? Do you look looking forward to like uh, going to Norway? Have you been to Norway before? Do you look forward to competing in like the nature or do you prefer, prefer a stadium? Like what's your general thoughts about the comp? I find it really interesting because it's in the mountains mm-hmm. and in the Norway, so and I love biking, so it's 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 good for me. Yeah. And I I love going uh, to compete to another country because 
it's it's a it's a it's a trip for me. And uh, to give example, uh, first when I was flying in a plane, I was flying to Sevilla to Arnold Swing Classic. So yeah. So and I will. Uh, I'm traveling with my dad and with my little brother. So we will enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it will be like not just a stronger competition, but it, it, a nice trip in a whole. Yeah. 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 I think that's that's it for now. I want to thank you for coming on, talking about Stav Sean. And I thank wish you, you best of luck at the competition. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.